Good morning. It's Thursday, March 9th, 2023. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, My Old Lenten Appropriate Shirt, and our scripture is Isaiah chapter 43. For I am about to do a new thing. See, I have already begun. Do you not see it? I will make a pathway through the wilderness. I will create rivers in the dry wasteland. Our missional group in South Davidson County cooperates to provide midweek Lenten services and lunch for the community. It's a small town, so most everybody knows everybody. It's a relaxed, joyful lunch hour of worship, soup, and sandwiches before heading back to work or whatever you do with your day. Since this is my first year in the community, I wasn't sure what to expect, but I'd been told it was quite informal. While I was getting dressed for the first service of the season three weeks ago, I pulled out my old Lenten-appropriate shirt, quite the liturgical purple. My bride walked past me and questioned my sanity. You're not wearing that, are you? I immediately thought, fashion police have arrived. What followed was a brief discussion, well, it was more of a one-sided sermon from the pew, about not wearing a 20-year-old rumpled, faded, and threadbare shirt to a worship service. I began to protest. I wasn't leading this service, so I didn't need to get all formal. But after taking a closer look at my old favorite Lenten shirt, I decided the fashion cop could probably get a conviction if the thing went to trial. I upgraded my wardrobe choice with a deep sigh. It was one of those moments when you realize you've become your father. If my dad liked a shirt, he wore it, often, and when mom did the laundry, the first thing dad would hunt up for in the pile of clean stuff was that shirt. I guess my father understood the old saying, if it ain't broke. Understanding that we humans become comfortable with our surroundings is a necessary thing. We lived on the north side of Jacksonville, Florida in the 1990s. Just across the river was a paper mill, and whenever the wind changed, you knew there was a paper mill close by. The old story my friend Rodney used to tell about that mill was about a family of skunks moving from Georgia to Florida. As they were crossing the bridge, one of the little baby skunks asked, Mama, oh Mama, what is that smell? The Mama skunk said, I'm not really sure, darling, but we got to get us some of that. In our daily lives, the routines, familiar surroundings, and possessions can become our lives. It's a way of reliving the past and being relieved of the thought of facing the future. Wearing my old, comfortable, Lenten-appropriate shirt may have been a connection for me with bygone, meaningful moments spent in Lent's confession, forgiveness, and spiritual growth. But without that history, to others it just looks like an old man in a faded and tattered purple shirt. For you today, if you've got some old garments you favor or habits or thoughts or anything else that cling to you like barnacles cling to the bottom of a boat, you may be carrying a little too much weight for this journey. Remember, you're not home yet, so remember to travel light. Let Jesus have your full attention. He specializes in doing new stuff. Eat you on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.